from a notepad. Hey, Pat. Hey, Pat. Yeah, I can hear you taking, uh, go ahead and put it in the group and then lock the comments. It's live. Yeah, go to the video. All right, I just turned, we're ready to go. It should have already been, right? Yep, it just did. Yep. Okay. All right, so, um, what's up, everybody? So, look, we just got back from Memphis in May. Hey, y'all going on Instagram? I know I've had you guys sitting here kind of like looking at nothing for a little while while I'm setting up. Let me get this but, thing off. Hey. Um, so, anyway, we just came back from Memphis in May, and um, we were there, got there Wednesday night, and uh, we had to leave yesterday so we could be here for this today. Right? So, so what are we doing today? We're doing a, um, a grilled corn avocado toast. So, let me kind of, and I'm doing it like a little side snack. Okay, because um, I've been watching these uh, bacon wrapped tater tots all over the place. And uh, I've been kind of dying for one. And so, I'm going to throw a couple of those on real quick. While those are cooking, we're going to make everything else. All right? So, actually, this is probably, is it big enough? It's perfect size. So look, I'm only gonna make a few, because I only need a few. Wendy, are you eating any of these? Um, no, I had enough meat over the last few days. <laughs> Seriously, I cannot eat another piece of, maybe, I'll probably so, eat one. So, once I get these together, I got like um, a sheet full of like announcements that I wanna kinda of cover. I can, and uh, and then we get this party started on hey, this uh, grilled corn avocado toast. You can yeah. see the comments, okay? Uh, yep. Everybody, please share the feed. Oops, right. Sorry. So, um, exactly. Share the feed. There we go. Let me get this. Arnie Scott said it's been a long time since he's been to a Memphis in May event. This was the World Championship barbecue event we went to. And, uh, it was right, nice. So it was nice meeting people. I anyway, think. look, I don't know if you've done these before. Honestly, this is my first time doing these bacon wrapped uh, tater tots. Let's see how they turn out. I'm going to make like a little sriracha. Oh, that didn't turn out very good at all. Hold on. Let me redo this real quick. Yeah. And y'all, I'm trying to remove bacon the... Bacon is thick. <clears throat> Let's do this again. I think my skewers tore up the tater top. Hi, Barry. <laughs> You're having nice weather. It's a little. It's getting a little hot here. We are. Uh, we're getting into the 90s. Starting. We had a good long stretch of nice weather, but the heat has begun. I'll tell you what, it has gotten humid. Hot air conditioner is cranking all day. And here we go. All right, look. I'm just doing three of these because I want to get this other stuff rocking. And I need to get this thing off of here. I'm like terrible. This is not working. Got it. Got it. Got it. Thank you. Let's see what. <laughs> Let's see what's going on over here. All right. I think I was doing it a little too complicated. So, like I said, this is just a little snack. All right. So Starkey said he uses <clears throat> toothpicks because the skewers will split them apart. That's what I just learned. That's what he just right. <laughs> that's, how, that's what he just self-taught him. Yep. I'm a self-taught man. Yep. But like, actually, you know, um, I'm setting them down on the grill grate where the seam is down. You know what? My tater tots are just. Thank you, Barry. 
Yeah, Arnie, I think the whole uh, the whole South is probably hot right about now. We are on the North Shore of New Orleans over in Covington. All right. Let's get rid of this crap. Starkey, while we were out of town, we had apparently had some torrential rain that uh, one tour one tourist that was leaving while we came back from the airport yesterday, she said, I was here, it was scary. So, I don't know, it flooded streets and everything else, but we weren't here to see it. But I'm glad because the, uh, the trees All needed right. some water. So, let's get on with this. Thanks, Todd. <sighs> now that I got my little snack out of oh, the way. Talk about to Todd real Todd. quick. Thank Todd. So, Todd sent us this gift. These things are so good. It was these uh, Brady Boys pretzels. I guess people have been posting these in the group. I'll tell you what, they're kick-ass. But he sent us a couple bags of these. It just so happens they were out for delivery right after we left the house um, on Wednesday. So they sat in our front door from Wednesday till uh, yes last night. But they're good to go, and they are awesome. Thanks a lot, Todd. Appreciate it, man. They were my breakfast this morning. So I do want to uh, do a handful of shout-outs uh, to some people at uh, Memphis and May, people in the group. Um, so... I'll start with share the feed. We're gonna do this contest every single time we do a show. If you, uh, we're gonna do a, a winner of uh, people who share the feed. So if you share the feed, uh, you have a chance to win any one of these badass Groby's products. And the person who shares it to the most places, not to your own feed, like sharing it to your own feed's cool. But to win to the most places has to be to um, like other groups or other people's feeds, something like that, right? So there's two ways to win when you're sharing, right? So share the feed, you have two chances to win. Um, we want to congratulate uh, Jennifer Bates. She won last week's banner contest. Uh, Pat, what did Jennifer choose? Do we know? Oh, so Jennifer, if you're on here, contact me or Pat and uh, let us know what you want. If you already have all this stuff, you can choose one of the new things coming out in the next couple weeks. Um, that's perfectly fine. So we also want to con uh, do a shout out to the team that we sponsored at um, Memphis and May, Crosstown Barbecue. They actually won third place in mustard. I actually didn't even know that was a good category, but apparently it is. They won third place mustard. Bill Scudder runs that whole team. I was trying to get a list of everybody on the team, but he didn't respond uh, before the show started because I can't remember everybody's name. We also want to do a shout out to Crackle and Oink, which if I'm not mistaken, I think all these dudes are in our group. And that's, <laughs> oh, and they won, uh, they took eighth overall in ribs. That's pretty cool. That's a big accomplishment in my book, right? So. That's Adam Guerrero. I know I, I mess up Adam's name all the time. And so, if, and also, if I butcher your name, I apologize. Let me know. I'll get it right next time, maybe. Um, so, anyway, Adam Guerrero, Mark Armstrong, Aaron Vogel, Junior Larson, Eric Style, Huey Gibson, and Jeff Schneider. So, anyway, congratulations, guys on eight overall in ribs. Um, so today is the day that we're supposed to be getting um, our our entries for the second Grill Beast Chop Challenge. Nobody has turned in anything yet. Nobody. So you could actually just win just by turning something in. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, but you have till like midnight tonight, tomorrow morning, right? So, if you're going to be in, now's the time to decide um, if you're going to be in because you have a very good chance of winning at this point. But, um, I know I had a ton of people email me saying they're going to do it. I understand it is a lot of work, but it is a lot of fun and you do win some cool stuff, right? So, anyway... We're gonna get on with this. We are making a grilled corn avocado toast. All right, and which, um, 
actually it's a it's really simple it's not it's probably one of the simplest things we've done I think um, normally when I uh, when I grow my corn I, I leave it in the husk and I grow it but uh, for this and even for other things if you want to get some char on your corn or whatever um, or you need to cook it a little bit quick um, you want to take it out of the husk okay so I do need I do need to melt some butter. Uh, the butter's over there on the, on the shelf. Uh -huh. I put the butter just about. Yeah, I need to melt it though. So. Um, Starkey said he likes how the pit boss has been relegated to a shelf for beast gear. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> it works awesome as a shelf. It actually works right. You know, I'm not like knocking it as a smoker. I haven't really had any uh, bad experiences with it, but. Um, I've been using all this they stuff down see. here, right? Yeah. And I needed a shelf. Um, I'm going to probably have to come up with a different solution, but for now, it's working. Yeah. My attempt to set it up on a table failed miserably, so. Yeah. That was a good idea back there. All right, so we're going to um, we're gonna pull the husk off of two ears of corn. Here. For some reason, I think this is going to be a very... Oh, so Mike, Mike C wants to know what you got me for my birthday. Actually, he got me a lot of good food for my birthday. We Lots went of out. good food. No, we went to a really... And good drink. We went to a really incredible place in Memphis called Flight. If you ever go, man, check it out. The food's yeah. amazing, and you can get small plates. If you can't decide on an entree, you can get three entrees in the form of a small plate. So, so look, uh, what you want to do uh, before you throw this on the grill, just rub it down with uh, some olive oil, okay? Just throw it on the grill. How's that bacon wrap? Uh yeah, that's not holding together very good. <laughs> it was a good idea. Yeah, right? Okay, so I need a... We're going to bring a pan out for me to melt butter in. i got to grab my pan. Talk, Wendy. I'll talk. <laughs> talk. Oh, man. So what did everybody else do? While we were in Memphis in May... How's y'all's weekend been? What's everybody grilling? What y'all up to? Is, look, if, if anybody plans on entering the Chop Challenge, let me know. So I am like waiting for somebody to send me a video. So if you are planning on and you just haven't done it yet, you know, do a shout out that it's coming. Um, so I do have another uh, contest that we're going to run. Uh, not this week, but like the first week in June. And it, and uh, there's one person that just cannot be in this challenge because we're actually using him as an example. And that's Eddie Hoare. I hope I'm pronouncing that last name right. Because <laughs> for some reason I think I might not be. But on Instagram, he is the Slump Chef. Do I have that right, Pat? The Slump Chef. And this dude, the Slumpy Chef's... Right, I tell you what, to... he does all these amazing burgers, and so um, he, he's kind of like setting a standard. So I think it would be cool if we have the Eddie Hoare Burger Contest, right? And I don't know, uh, um, I don't think there's going to be any rules. It's just got to be a burger, right? Be a burger of some kind. You build it, whatever kind you want. So we'll, we'll announce that officially, like at the end of this week, probably Memorial Day. And um, literally, um, so you'll have all week this week to kind of think about what you might want to put together as a cool burger. And, um, and we'll have Eddie help us decide who the winner is. Right? So Brian Reeves, you did not miss the deadline. The deadline's actually midnight tonight, but if if y'all 
if people are telling me that they want to do this, I can extend the deadline to tomorrow just so you can get everything in. Um, nobody has missed the deadline. It's actually midnight tonight. But let's say, hey, let's extend it to midnight tomorrow. Everybody will get an extra day. Because uh, I think we've gotten some responses. People want to do it, but we just haven't gotten any entries yet. So... Some butter down. Butter, butter. Y'all want the uh, the ingredients? Hit send. No, 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 no. I don't have that set up today. Oh, it's not set up yeah, today. Yeah, no, don't even do that. Today. Oh. Yeah. So uh, you yeah. can get the ingredients on, on the, blog the blog post. Sorry, y'all. Right. All right, so if you want the ingredients, we're going to be um, putting a blog up on the uh, Grubby's page today. Because being out of town, we were a little bit. Yeah, we're so I didn't have time to set that up. Yeah. It was a rough morning trying to get, to get together with this after traveling. Like, it was rough to get out of bed even. So, it was a hard time. <laughs> it was for me. So, look, but these are the ingredients you need, right? You just need a couple ears of corn. You need a couple avocados. Yeah, this one looks really good. Yeah, Jared, we'll tell you more about the um, burger challenge. There is going to be a burger maybe. challenge in June. Sometimes it's really hard to find a good avocado, so we got a couple of varieties here. I'm going to take and throw these on the grill also. Um, yeah, let me go ahead and cut these bad boys. All right, go ahead. And Brian, yeah, we usually do our deadlines on Friday, but we had um, we moved it to Sunday, and I think we said that on a live feed, and then we sent out an email. So originally it was a Friday, but we almost immediately moved it to Sunday at midnight, not 12 noon. So you're cool. <laughs> I'll threw the seed out in the yard, and I hit one of my uh, Christmas ornaments. All Debbie. Right, Try to do it tomorrow. Get it in tomorrow. So that avocado looks perfect. Let me see. Yes. Alright, let me throw these on the grill. So we are at um, almost a standstill. Other than my butter. What's that? Oh, you got it. Yep. All melted. Need to add a couple things to it. So we have. We'll be doing a little lime. Thanks, Kent. Huh? Kent said that was a good shot. <laughs> oh, saw the. Uh, no, I think the grill, I'm assuming, all the stuff. What's he talking about? Oh, that. Okay, yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah. yeah. All right, so put some of that in the butter. I could make up my uh, my dipping sauce for my... Um, taters. My bacon wrap taters, right. Let me do that real quick. And then I can stick that in the fridge and let it gel. But basically... You can kind of eye this up. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not making a bunch because I'm not making a whole bunch of the uh, of the uh, tater tots, right? So you just do a big spoonful of mayonnaise, some sriracha, right? Probably about yay much, and we do like a little bit of smoked paprika. For a Ken Herbert joke. wants to know uh, when he can get some of those, um, some of our stickers, decals. Um, that's not too much. Um, take in, uh, shoot me an email. Shoot us an email, Ken. All right, so look. Oh, 
squeeze a little bit of lime. So what I did is I put a big old spoon of uh, mayonnaise, a big squirt of sriracha, uh, a big pinch of smoked paprika, and we're going to squeeze a little lime in there. Okay, you don't want to go too crazy with the lime. You don't want it to taste lime. Like literally. And you can adjust this. This is good for like a lot of things, like onion rings, all that kind of stuff, right? Anything with bacon on those. Everybody remember, sharing is caring, and you could win a great gift. All right. If you share, you get a chance of winning a Grill Beast product, any Grill Beast product, but not the Grill Grills. No. But one of those one of those other things in the background. All right, that's not bad. I'm going to go with that. I'm going to stick this in the fridge. So... I do need to chop up some cilantro. I don't have paper towels. Thank you, Gary. Does anybody oh. have any questions about anything? I know we really haven't done much. Do you want to check that corn? Did you turn up the uh, grill? All right, we just need to uh, I hate cutting this stuff off. Almost burned the butter. So the shed did win best wings, and they used the bullseye. I did find that out. And uh, the shed actually they won overall grand championship too. Nice. I don't know all the stuff that they won. Um, all I know is Rec Tech was their official sponsor, and and they used the bullseye for the chicken. That's all I Brian Dickinson said thanks for the hat. The gold he's had, he wears it in style. Awesome. <laughs> so, I don't know how many people we got on right now. I can't tell on here. Pat. All right, 67. That's a good number. That's the year I was born. Me too. Hmm. Is anybody having a Sunday morning drink? Pat said he's not. So... <laughs> 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 so, um, all right, I feel like I'm running out of stuff to talk about. You want to check here. the corn? Yeah. Yeah, it is starting to get hot. What you got set on? Hot. <laughs> set on hot. Set on hot. What's your flavor, your favorite flavor? Kool-Aid, red. Keep it simple. All right, so I just crank that up a little bit more. We need that corn to grow up a little bit faster. Starkey said Pat needs some hair to dog. I know. Pat, <laughs> no, Pat, I don't think Pat gets hang hangovers that often. Do you, Pat? <laughs> I have Pat on the phone. So Pat is, uh, Pat's on the phone in my ear, Thanks, and uh, that way if we miss any questions, Pat can help cover that kind of stuff. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting to, to put something in somewhere, because this is just too simple, right? What, for the uh, toast? Yeah. All right, the so anyway, so look, simple. we used, uh, it's, it's, it's Dave's Killer Bread. <laughs> Not this day, but right. So um, I've honestly never had this bread. Wendy apparently has. 
but uh, we're going to make this. I'm going to put it on top of. It's really good, y'all. It's, it's like some of the best. 21 bread. grain bread. Very hearty. So nobody can say you didn't eat healthy today, right? That's right. Um, good morning, Tyler. Tyler has a band aid on Hi, the Tyler. Nose. It's not a band aid, it's a it thing for, it's to keep your skin clear. It's oh, is that what it is? Yeah, all right, she'll sorry. pull it off, and then all her skin, her pores will be fresh. Not all of them. <laughs> just the ones on your like, nose. Not each time I do it, all it's right. like I still got like, so got lime. like it doesn't do anything. All right. all right, what's everybody growing today? Is everybody growing anything today? Um, silicone mop head and those rings are genius. Did you get a silicone mm -hmm. mop head, Mike? Mike so, saying. yeah, Mike, no, I haven't started mailing them out yet. I just got them to the admins last week. So I'm yeah, glad you brought that right. up. Um, this week, we're going to start mailing these out to uh, people who had purchased our, our beast mop, right? And our beast mop came with a cotton head. And then we came up with the idea um, to make it silicone. So if you get a good shot in on this, maybe. Yep. So see how it's silicone and it's kind of like got these little chain link kind of like things in it? That's what helps pick up the sauce. I might even use it on that butter. I tell you what, it works great. It does. It works really, really good, dude. Um, and uh, with the cotton head, it would get the cotton all nasty. It would never get clean. You'd want to replace it or you just wouldn't even want to use it. But I tell you what, once you put this silicone head on it, and it's not even changing the head. You just use the same head. You pop the cotton strings off wrap the silicone around it um, I have a video on it I'm gonna do like an official like step-by-step -step video but I think all the admins um, did theirs with no problem at all Pat did you put your uh, silicone head on yet uh, dude you should have had it by now. so among other things people are making Jared Hogan is making strawberry lemonade moonshine and grilling up sausage and kraut that yum, sounds yum, yum, yum. Yum. Did you say kraut? Kraut, like sauerkraut. Oh, okay. All right. Nice. Nice. Anybody else, Pat, you growing anything today? Maybe? Desmond's making jerk chicken. Ryan Dickinson pork loin. Kent made a pork loin last night. Hey, is, uh, um, is uh, Adam Gerardo uh, on? I haven't or, seen him. Um, or Mark, was it Mark Armstrong? I haven't seen either the one. On? Uh, they might be driving home. They live in uh, Texas. They might be sleeping still. <laughs> yeah, they could be, right, because they were out late last night. And, and the night uh, before, and the night before. Maybe even partying, right? Right. They've had a hard week. So, um, hey, Tom, uh, can you put this in the refrigerator, honey? Please. Gary Golden's got four beautiful tenderloins going on the grill later. Who are you feeding? Four nice. tenderloins. <laughs> Eddie Hoare, there he is. Eddie Hoare's on. He's making burgers. Eddie. <laughs> so did. Eddie, yeah, I think Eddie, did you just get on? Do you know about our contest in June? Eddie, we're, we're, we're gonna have the um, the Eddie Hoare burger contest first week of June, dude. <laughs> I don't know if you. You cannot that. compete, Eddie. You, <coughs> excuse me. You cannot compete. And um, you're gonna if if I can get you to, I'd like you to help uh, choose the winner. So uh, I think it's a contest that we'll get a lot of action on. I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna play in the contest, but I'm not. I can't win anything. I just want to see if I can compete with Eddie. You know, <laughs> I did one big burger uh, about a week ago, but it still it wasn't. It wasn't. Well, about three years ago, we did a burger thing, and we did like four awesome, incredible burgers. Remember that? Yeah, I mentioned that uh, in the group a couple weeks ago. Man, they and were it was, so uh, good. We were in a group called Boss's Barbecue or Outdoor Cooking, or yeah, something like that. Yeah. Yep. And uh, that dude's a cool dude too. He's, he's got a nice group. Um, and he had a burger contest. And I think didn't we win? I don't remember. I don't know. I know that I know we did an incredible I think job. Thank you, one. But we did four different kinds of burgers. Eddie Hoare said it would be his pleasure to help um, pick the winner of the burger of the Eddie Hoare Burger Chop. I mean Challenge. Right. Contest. Because Eddie has set standards on burgers. So and people are already doing it in the group where they. Um, they want to. They want to. <clears throat> they want to elevate their burgers to be as good as Eddie's. So. So uh, Russell Nutt says he's doing cheeseburger sliders today. Something easy, but next weekend he's attempting his first brisket. So y'all give him some advice. If y'all got someone briskets. You no, know, I remember my first brisket. I remember my first <laughs> butt. 
<laughs> I do. Pat said he does too. So, hey, um, do we need to check that corn now? Yeah, There's some smoke coming out of there. I get in a Charlie. Oh, wait, look, sorry. It's beginning. To the outside. What about the avocados? The avocados are about ready to go. That's coming. Leave them in there. Oh, dude, they're going to slide out of there. It's going to be good. You see that? Tyler, we got some breakfast for you. Over so here. my uh, my bacon wrapped tater tots look kind of sad. They're very sad. That's a problem. With breakfast. There's your breakfast, Tyler. Yeah. <laughs> that one's Dude, not this, done. Don't give that girl a raw bacon. That's this is not this is nice. Conscious. This is actually perfect. All right. Yep, it is. That it's one, just not That's wrapped. for you, Tyler. So this was like a last minute thing, and it was very unprepared, which is not news. Um, <laughs> Everybody remembers their first butt, right? But, <laughs> but um, I, I really wanted to do the bacon wrap uh, uh, tater tots. I've been wanting to do them for a long time. All right, let me put this away. Here, Tyler, can you put this in the freezer? Yeah. Seems like there's something. <laughs> All right, there's got to be some more talk about. It. We got to wait on this corn. <clears throat> trying to think of um. Some little trivia or something where we can give something away. Oh, that's a good idea. Some trivia. But like what trivia? Hey, Pat, have we had anybody in the uh, group? I know we had some uh, posts that got like tons of comments and, and stuff like that, but we don't really have it written down. I win for my Mo Kaysen picture from the um, barbecue thing. We did <laughs> hang out with Mo Kaysen. <laughs> nice, nice guy. So genuine nice guy. and just nice. And um, nice. The, the whole, the whole um, what's the name of that group? Green Eggs. I can't remember. The Green Egg Fest people in Florida, they do this every year. They raise money for charities. And uh, we got to hang out with them a little bit. Great uh, group. Yep, great group of people. We're going to be uh, participating in that this year. They invited us. It's like invitation only. So that's kind of like special to us. Chad Keller wants to know where he can see some of Eddie's uh, famous burger pics. Chad, you have not seen Eddie's, oh my God. So you go to the group and click on pictures and the most awesome burger pictures you've seen is gonna be Eddie's. <laughs> I mean, that's just the easiest way to do it. Right. Um, on our Instagram, we've shared them on our Instagram probably, probably most of them. Um, I don't know, man, they're all over the place. I don't really have a bookmark, but they are easy to find. Um, you could just you could just type Eddie's last name in, right, and just and find he's going to be post. the only one with that last name. Ask Eddie. Hey, Eddie, uh, am I pronouncing your last name right? I said Eddie Hoare. <laughs> I mean, I don't see any other way to say that. So I don't even think you're all right. If Wendy says I probably got it right, then I probably do. All right. I'm literally just waiting on the corn. I have right. To that corn is not ready yet. I cannot believe it. It needs to have some color. No. Right. It's getting tender. Just. Oh, I was going in. Oh, I'm sick. Um, so, when it's cold, let's get golden. Yeah, but it's just not charred. I want some charred. Look, it's starting to. It's starting to. Alright, then we're going to 10 minutes on the corn. You can take the avocados off whatever you want, though. Those are probably. And let them cool. Yeah, I guess I could. Y'all, there's so much you can do with um, with grilled avocado. Maybe you should move the corn where the avocado was. Is that a hotter spot? No. You think? It's just it's a softer. Yeah, it's just easier. Yeah, it's all. I got it turned up. It, it'll, it'll... All right, so Mikey uh, Busa said, "What we making today?" He was just tuning in. We're making Mexican grilled corn avocado toast. It's very simple. 
It's got avocado, cilantro, lime, grilled corn. The corn we uh, we coated in olive oil. And then we, when we pull it off, it, we got, we're waiting for it to get charred. We're going to pull it off, and then we're going to coat it in melted butter, strip it off the cob, mix it. Um, or we're going to do not a guacamole, but we're going to take and cut up this avocado, smash it up a little bit, throw some salt, pepper, um, paprika in it. Uh, mix that, spread that Lime. on the toast. We yeah. still got to toast the bread, which literally will only take a minute. We don't want to do that too early. So we got the cheese that goes on top. Right. We got the uh, queso, mm -hmm. queso okay. fresca cheese. Yep. Which um, we did uh, something in, in Florida. Was, yeah. What were those things? Those were like those were really awesome, good. Man. There was some I forget. It had tortilla and pulled pork. And, yeah, we did uh, pulled pork. It's like a pulled pork taco. Open. Shoulder, yeah, and it had queso fresco cheese and a bunch of stuff, and it the stuff was kick ass. It was, it was it really, really good. But, um, anyway, so so Stephen Man Manis says silver queen corn will char easily, it has more sugars. I don't know that we have that here, I've never seen you know, uh, yeah, like me, I grew up north and I worked on farms pretty much all my childhood, hand picking the uh, the corn for the markets and all that stuff, hand picking uh everything tomatoes um worked on me and pat worked together on a uh, on a uh, uh, orchard fikes orchard in skipton maryland and uh, that place was crazy <laughs> right it was beer for breakfast there man. all I mean, right it was right. really it was <laughs> outrageous i actually got food so um um but yeah but and then, even before I did that, I did, um, I worked on these farms with um, migrant workers, which basically, you know, that's what they said back then, right? People who came from Mexico every year to work on farms. And they still do, but, I mean, it's a different, it's a different, it's a controversy almost now, it seems like. But, uh, I picked um, all kinds of vegetables by hand. And you got paid by how much you picked, like tomatoes, um, cantaloupe, watermelon, all that. You got paid by how much you picked, and uh, which I'm fine with because I'll I'll go out there. And Do you need a bigger bowl? Yeah, I could probably use a bigger. Tyler, bowl. can you run and get a bigger bowl there? <clears throat> That's awesome. And by run, I mean move very slowly. Dude, are you serious? <laughs> so that's Tyler Hustle. Right, that's Tyler's Hustle. <laughs> so, when you grill avocado, this thing gets very hot. Thank you, Tyler. And here's a little pointer if you don't already know. If you got an avocado that's not quite soft enough, like the way you really want it. Um, you can grill it and then it'll soften it right up. There's your bigger bowl. <clears throat> there you go. Hi. Brian Lee said your gloves look awesome. Thank you very much. They work awesome and they're incredible. So squeeze a little lime on there. David uh, Easter, is that how you say your name? It says good morning, Super Dave. Thank you. Dun, dun, dun. So see how easily that, so yeah, we want this to cool down anyway. Yeah. Tyler, bring me salt and pepper, please. All right, so that's some grilled smoked avocado. Which, I'm gonna throw a little bit of salt and pepper on there, get that set. I feel like we're just dragging ass now. Well, I'll go check the corn. Might be, uh, might be getting there. Once it starts, it's probably gonna, I thought it would char a lot. Oh, it's charring. It's really light. Tonight about, or tomorrow, it's fine. What about your, uh, there's little things on there. 
photos of it. I'm taking off the Tyler's breakfast. <laughs> that was supposed to be my breakfast. Well, you can Tyler's have supposed to be sleeping. Right, she's up early. She must have smelled it. So. Yeah, uh, Spanky, yes. Deadline for the CHOP Challenge is midnight, but I am going to make an executive decision to officially move the deadline for entry of your video to tomorrow at midnight because if you get it together today, you still might have to get your video worked out. So, um, yeah, the official the official deadline is going to be moved to tomorrow at midnight. If, if we have interest and people want to get in, then you just got to get it together. Um, We'll take it through tomorrow. Where's the salt and pepper? Thank you. Oh wait, we already got salt. So I'm not adding salt because it is salted butter. Add a little bit of pepper to the butter. And I'm gonna do like a little dash of paprika in there. Smoked paprika. Oh, yeah, it's smoked. Don't wanna leave that part out. No, there's a big difference. There you go. <coughs> Dwayne, we did. We had an awesome trip. It was, was that uh, back when the heat. On the Dwayne heat. was asking if we had a good trip. It was. It was really good. You know, it was a good trip. Um, Got to meet a, a lot of good people. Yeah, met a lot, of, a lot of really good people. I think we made some good connections. Um, yeah. And uh, made some really good connections with some local people, which was probably a bonus because I didn't expect that. Right. Um. So that that's going to be interesting to see how that. We ran into people that we didn't even know were there that we knew. <laughs> um, yeah, so, so even though I mentioned it, I don't know how many times, I didn't know that we had a bunch of people in the group that had a team. I don't know how that got. But here's the thing. So, like, when we were flying over there, uh, I got a message from Adam Guerrero. Uh, and I kind of, I didn't ignore it. I was just like, you know, I'm, I'm kind of busy right now. I'll get to it in a little bit. He was actually messaging me to let me know what booth he was at <laughs> or what tent he was at at the, at the thing. And I didn't even realize what he was doing. So, um, so we almost missed him. And the only reason we even got him is because <laughs> somebody on his team went to join our group. And um, I don't know, somehow, you know, Big Thumbs kind of like deleted him by accident. So we had to hunt him down to get him back in the group. So we hunted him down at the, at the barbecue the tent, competition. And, there, and there's uh, Adam, and I was like, I was confused for a second, but then it all made sense. So, <laughs> anyway. Yeah. All right, as soon as it heats up a little bit, I'm going to take, even while it's on there, I'm going to splash it with uh, it butter. Was, uh, Mark Armstrong, I think, is who we had to hunt down. Cool. He was right. funny. I was like, I don't know why I got declined. I was like, what did I do? We we're like, it was an accident. We had, <laughs> right. He was amazed that we even found him to, to remedy the situation. We almost gave up. Because we, yeah. we had walked over those couple days. We walked at least no less than 20 miles. Yeah, that's the truth. Between walking around the, uh, the competition and walking around Memphis. Um, right. I'm telling you, I hadn't walked that much in years. And, um, and so we just found out, actually Phil sent us a note on what tent he thought he was in, and then we just had to find that tent out of hundreds of tents. <laughs> so anyway, whatever. It was all cool. It, it was all great. good. And actually it was a big bonus because um, it just turned out better than I expected. Yeah. I'm going to... You gonna do that now? Yeah, I'm gonna do something now. And then pull it off from there. Is this one? We need to get off soon. Yeah, I mean it doesn't have to be charred for this what we're doing with it, but a char would be nice, but... Yeah, we're just trying to add some color to it. Yeah, we just want some color, even if it's cold. That's right. So actually, I'm going to let that sit there for a second. So here's the trick, Mike. See, if you do go to the competition, 
we didn't understand unless you are with a group or know somebody in a group and you have a pass to go to their particular um, tent you're just kind of walking around it's the last day you want to go to we were like why are people here because you're just walking around looking at other people party basically but after everybody turns in their um their stuff for the competition that's when they start giving away all the food so that would be like the last day you want to go or at night at night they have music and i think some people some booths give out the food so um, that's just a little tip if you do go so when you do this go at night and um, the last day actually you want to do the corn way ahead of time so it can cool down really good and all that kind of stuff um we still got to toast the bread so it can be cool and warm if you toast. Yeah, that's okay. So then you uh, just pour all your butter on there while it's cooling down to get a nice butter flavor setting in. Pat, can you send the, uh, uh, well, we don't, is the, um, the silicone on one yet? No. If okay. you already own a mop, we're going to send you a silicone head for free. And if you don't own one you at all, one, you're still going to get the silicone add-on piece for free. Um, right. So, but but so you can either order the mop and then you'll get the silicone, or when will it be online? So this week, I'm actually going to have the, the barbecue sets separated. We only we've only been selling it in a set, and so what we're going to do this week is separate it so you can buy each individual piece if you want to. Um, hopefully. Not hopefully, by the end of the week, that's going to be done and ready to rock and roll. And John, you can go to uh, grillbeast.com and just go to products, our product page, for anything. Yeah, we'll set up, we'll, we'll send out some uh, emails and some announcements. We got a bunch of. Uh, Pat or uh, Starkey, if y'all could put the link up there for the product page, that would be cool. But we got some more announcements, some product stuff. Uh, all right, so look, <clears throat> I'm going to throw this toast on. Bread on to make toast. Mm -hmm. And then, and then this would be. These are the products that we have on right now. We're gonna be adding some more pretty soon, like very soon. So I'm gonna throw um, instead of two pieces. I'm gonna hey throw Phil. Four pieces on. Just Good morning, sure. Phil. I wish we were just eating corn on the cob. I know. I mean, that looks good. This looks really good. That's what I'm thinking, too. But it needs to cool down. Well, so cut but that. what we're doing is going to be good as well. It is. So, uh, basically, we're going to take, we're going to spread our avocado into the bread. Put a heaping pile of corn, some cilantro, some fresco cheese, um, a little more sprinkle of paprika, and literally, that's going to be... A little squeeze a lime, maybe. That's right, a little squeeze a lime. Well, a squeeze a lime is always good. But what we can do is try this, uh, this tater top bacon in it. Mm -hmm. right. I know Tyler doesn't want any of this, right? <laughs> so, this is just a little snack I made. <laughs> what about you? We gotta see how that is. Pack? Huh? So Pat said people were asking about the um, the bullseye. The, uh, somebody said, um, "Yeah, what's your pellet grill?" So and you've, it's been answered. Right, it's a Rectech bullseye. I tell you what, man. Depending on what I'm doing right now, uh, I'm using the Rectech bullseye or I'm using the Barrel House. Like seriously, um, they are the most convenient smokers and grills and all that that I've ever used in my life. That is no bullshit. Uh, with my work schedule, um, it had become not impossible because I'm out here every Sunday, if nothing else, doing a show. But I do not, I was not able to grill nearly as much as I used to before I started this company, right? So it's like, I started this company because it was a passion and the and because I did that, it kind of interrupted with my passion, if that makes sense to anybody. So it was really interrupting my ability to find all the time to grill. Literally, I get up 5, 6 o'clock in the morning. I work till midnight, 2 o'clock in the morning. And, uh, but since I've gotten 
this uh, bullseye, I literally come out here at lunchtime and I grill, and I grill dinner. Sometimes I grill two, three times a day. Almost every single day now I grill. All because of that. It's that is awesome no bull. Thing. It is yeah, no bull for the bullseye. <laughs> So, so Russell, yeah, let me over. Like, I'm not like just trying to, I'm not like, I don't make anything off of these things, right? I'm just telling you, this thing really is great. Just same with when I started using the barrel house. The barrel house was freaking awesome, man, and it still is. Depending on what I want to do, if I want to throw a hot dog on, I come out here and I fire this bad boy up. Or a hamburger, I fire it up. I can have a hamburger going in no time. If I'm going to throw a rack of ribs on, or even a butt or whatever, this thing is so easy to use. You just fire it up, put it on the uh, setting, depending on your elevation, and you're set. You know, it doesn't have to be complicated. And like some people like to be out there babysitting their fire all the time, or messing with their charcoal, which is all cool. It doesn't matter to me. But if you don't have time, like I don't have a lot of time to do the stuff I really like to do, and these things enable me to do those things. So that's my spiel. <laughs> so and that is like no BS. No, man. that's the truth. Tyler, can you go? You got Russell. Money. Yes, if you ordered the uh, Beast Bar key set yeah. yesterday, you will get the silicone mop head. We're gonna send it to everybody who has a mop already. Yeah. So if you, um, like I said, if you already have, like if you bought the Beast the Barbecue set that was like all three of these in the set, we're gonna track you down, and um, it's gonna be harder to track you down if you bought it off of Amazon. Like, if you bought it off our website, it's easy. That's literally, we can... Do you want them to email you if they bought it off of Amazon? If you bought it off of Amazon, we're going to have to work, figure out a different way, which emailing us works that way, too. Um, but really, I want to take and send... You know what? Just go ahead and send me an email. David at Grobies.com or Pat at Grobies.com. Um, and we'll make sure you get it this week. Um, we're going to start printing out labels and shipping that to everybody. You'll get this. And um, I don't know if it's self-explanatory. Like to me it was because I came up with Well, the maybe idea. you can do a I live feed when you send them out. Do a live so, feed to show people how to do it. Right. So Phil Gamboa and Kip Chandler are out at the farm having breakfast beers together apparently. What? That's what, that's what, what? they say. You know what? <laughs> you know. Phil, come on, dude. I'm not that far away. <laughs> right. No, Phil has. A, Phil's got an open invitation for us. He's already said pretty much. Uh, I don't remember seeing that. I did. So right. anyway, look. See, I left this. Right, Phil. If that's if that's not accurate, it's my interpretation. <laughs> so. It's not easy. Oh, uh, you checked your, checked your toes, Brian. Reset. It's gonna be burning. <laughs> that's what happens when you start talking. Is it burnt? Let's see, y'all. Is it burnt beyond? Actually, you these three are good, and that one is borderline. Yeah, but the other ones we can work with, because you're going to be piling that's stuff the, on top of it, so you want it a little dark. Extra, that's why I threw two extra pieces in. Right, we need that's something that's inevitable with me. I start running my mouth, and uh, stuff gets burnt. So. Kip, yours came in postage due. Is that right? Are you serious? That shouldn't, no, that shit, that ain't right. How many, what, what did I send you, Kip? What did you, what did we send, Kip? I should have came out already. Right. And Brian Reeves, you weren't just kidding, the toast was burning. <laughs> he said, when he's the one who said your toast is burning, he goes, just kidding. But no. No, actually, he right. just, he you saved me. it. You saved the toast. Who was that? That was uh, Brian Reeves. Oh, thanks, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Kip, let us know what came in postage due, dude. See, Phil said, yep, it's an open invite. I uh, told you. All right, cool. Tell you what, do you, can you smell this? I smell it. It's good. Looking Tyler's lawn on the on cob. It. What's left of it? <laughs> I know. Yeah, no, this is... It's that butter, man. Yeah. It's that butter. That Kip, email um, Pat or David and let them know what the whole deal. Because we need a remedy that. That shouldn't be like that. 
I'm gonna pour the extra butter on here. Why not? All right, we're about. Oh no, Kath. <laughs> Kathy's just popping in for a second. She had a water pipe explode in her utility room. That sucks. They're working on it now. Well, it's nice that you popped in. Was it Kathy that had a birthday the same day as you? Um, no, Kathy, you didn't have a birthday the, the same day as me. I'm trying to think who did. Somebody did. Kathy Rooks, Darielle Rooks. Get out the corn. Go check the bread. Get out my corn. Uh -huh. Good. That's perfect. Um, Stephen, we're using butter. We always use butter. We're not margarine people. I yeah. do have I do have this thing I do use for my cholesterol. It's called Smart Something. Tyler, can you hand me a napkin, please? And um, I used it because I'm trying to fight high cholesterol, but I don't use it. Oh, right. That's a good. Pa yeah. You know what? So Pat just Pat just made a good point. So even this one that looks like it might be overcooked, it's, right. it's still good. No, right. I'll so Pat just one. brought something up that, um, whew, well, that's hot. I'm going to take cool down just a minute while I run my mouth. Um, hey, Tyler, can you go get some ice Chaz, cream? we were in Memphis. Right, we, we just got back ice. last night. So um, we've been doing okay, our okay. grill beast grill grates for, I don't know, a year, year and a half, something like that. I don't even know. Um, now we are able to do any size now when it gets too big like I had a lady call me up a couple weeks ago and she wanted a 42 inch round that's huge and that's gonna take like like the post office is not delivering that right so so thank you sweetheart can I have some more so anyway why don't you just take the, the glasses in there I'll have well, some you can too. Get like a whole bowl of ice anyway either way I appreciate that so, um, so when it gets so big, you got to realize that there are limitations that the post office or UPS will do. I don't know what that limitation is, um, but I do know 42 inches um, is not something that is generally delivered by the post office or USPS. But any other grow rate, any other size, like 22, 18, 16, 14, 8, 30 inches. You know, we can get delivered and made um, and sent to you. So, anyway, we even have that option on the website. Hey, Sam. Well, thanks for popping in. And so, Sam said he can't watch his honeydew list is quite long. But in honor of Grill Beast, he did ribs yesterday. <laughs> awesome. And um, you can catch you can catch it on our blog later if you want to watch the show and the, yeah, uh, we'll get the recipe. Yeah, we'll actually have it all posted on the blog with the ingredients yeah. and everything. All right, so this is all kind of... It's all cooled down UPS now. said as long as it's under 150 pounds, Stephen Manis said. Oh, is that what it is? All right, cool. Oh, you know what? Uh, Joe, I'm glad you said we're talking about freight. Uh, the guy in the group, Joe, Ten, I cannot do the last name. Tendusky, I know I'm tearing that last name up, um, but I got to hang out with him. At uh, Memphis and May, he was a judge, so that was really oh, right. Cool. Yeah, nice guy. Yeah, he was a very nice guy. Yeah. So, all right. So look, I think I'm just doing all this right over here. Okay. Did you put all your stuff in there? He mixed everything. Paprika. Yeah. Oh, no, All right. Um, so you put everything spreading in this. Did you put your smoke so we're spreading it? Yes. Okay. Spread this. Check it out. Just double check. It. Vincent, we are making a Mexican grilled corn avocado toast. So we got a grilled avocado. Go away for them. Well, I think I did two big ones. So 
Hey, this, Tyler. this was two big avocados. Please, yeah, please. All right. Getting there. Sorry, I didn't even see it there. Just grab the drink. All right. Yes, ma'am. So we got that. We're all ready to go. Oh, that one got shorted. What is this? You got your spin. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Great, I'm a dude now. <laughs> hey. Yeah, that works. And we want to do. Starkey said he needed a pound of bacon. <laughs> we want to do a big heaping of the corn. On each one. All that butter. Even better if we had more color on the corn. Eddie Horse said, "Slap a burger in there." <laughs> <laughs> right. That would be a good burger. Cilantro. Oops. Two big pieces on there. Alright. You can add more cilantro. I love cilantro. It's going to be on top of this. And let me uh, get yeah. some of this cheese on there. Fresco cheese. Fresco cheese, see how crumbly it gets? You just gotta break it up. So you break that up. You just kind of sprinkle. And then there's a left hand that I should have taken the other hand. Lewandowski said chopped red pepper and corn would be good too for color. Oh, that no, would have been good. good. Damn it. Yeah, I mean, really, this is a recipe you can add to. Yeah, pretty much everything we do. You, you can put tomatoes that on it, you could whatever, you know. Look, we also wanted to a little bit of lime on top of that. And then another. Uh, Sprinkling of uh, smoked paprika. We'll Sprinkle some smoked paprika on top. What's paprika? There you spicy? go. Yeah, that it's a little spicy, but not not like spicy like we talked about. There you go. Lee Danson said it looks tasty, and maybe add some red jalapenos for a little heat on it. Can you please stop talking? Y'all, there's jalapenos. so much you can do to this. This is like the simple recipe. All right, some red peppers, so red jalapeno, yep. jalapenos sound actually really you good. You could put onions, you, I mean, uh, We should tomatoes. have called you guys before we started. <laughs> but that's it. So I'm going to take this one. You can cut it up into quarters. I'm going to cut it up and uh, taste it. Yeah, Mark, tomato or even grilled roasted peppers. Yeah. All of that would be good. Alright. Alright, let's see. The taste test. You need to eat it over a plate, y'all. <laughs> Is it good? <laughs> hmm? Or you could just make a mess for the birds. What's your verdict? Really good. 
I actually think it needs a little salt. Other than that, perfect. What the heck is that? Is that a frog? Where is that coming from? It's like from? right there somewhere. That's crazy. It's probably one of those little tiny That's frogs. That's it. All right, y'all. That's it. That is. So, uh, this ah, is actually cool a lot starting. more simpler. How long have we been on? Um, one hour and five minutes. It's crazy. So, and, what the heck is that? It's one of those little frogs. In reality, this only took five twenty minutes. No, right. You could shorten it and heat up your grill more, get your corn going. You know, the corn right. is what's Talking took the and, and waiting on the corn kind of took it over. But that's <laughs> Jim, all right. Jim Biddle said he's about to eat the screen. <laughs> so, all right, cool. Thanks, Look. Pat. Um, uh, there it is. That's really it. I'm actually going to do something later on in the week because I'll move aside. I don't think Thank I am you. going to um, <laughs> be on next Sunday. It is Memorial Day weekend, and I actually need to go to Pennsylvania to see my oldest daughter. She's about to have a baby, and so we need to visit. So anyway, um, <laughs> oh, get good boy for us. So she doesn't like avocado. Kip said they had pulled pork omelets on the Blackstone this morning at Phil's place. <laughs> Whoa. What, y'all? Good to y'all. I know. I might be down there this week, Phil. Mike C. just licked this screen, he said. Awesome. So Debbie Reynolds said um, crumbled bacon and a drizzle of honey. she do. Like we said, there's so many things you can do yep. to add to bacon it. Bacon would have been a great idea. Yeah. That's right. Yep. So, so the ideas, the extra ideas that we've gotten so far are um, some uh, what grilled uh, red peppers, mix, some, mix. some red red jalapenos, red jalapenos, uh, grilled red bacon. peppers, bacon. Um, so you can add all that to this tomatoes. and even make it better. So yeah, you can do whatever. Anyway, you that is it. If you haven't shared the feed. Please share, share it now, because yes. even if you share it now, it still counts. It still goes out. People can start watching it from the beginning and all that kind of cool stuff. Even after the feed is done, like tomorrow, you can come back in and share it again to somewhere, some other group, right? Um, because we're gonna later on in the week, we're gonna count on all the people who shared. We'll figure out who the winner is, and we'll find out who shared it the most, and we'll figure out who that winner. Oh, um, sure. oh, Lee Jansen wants to know if we can do a uh, show with um, smoked fish. Yeah. I think we can do that. I don't see why not. Yeah. I think that's a, that's a good idea. Actually, that would be something different for yeah, us. Yeah, we haven't even done that. No. So, that, that, there's yeah. like all kinds of appetizers you can do with uh, smoked fish. Yeah, we'll do so that. So we kind of try to do like appetizer type stuff, but we can definitely do that. That's like... We can do that next show maybe. Yeah, we can do... Couple different smoked, uh, smoked dip. Yeah, and, uh, we can smoked. do dip, right? Yeah. All right, cool. All right, look. Thanks a lot for showing up. For those of you who stuck around for the whole thing, that's even better. Not me. You know, there has to be like a prize that we can do that shows like who stuck around the whole time. Because that's like. We'll do it. Anyway, peace out. I will talk to y'all later in the week. Um, that's it. Bye.